Good day, everyone. It's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I've got some great news for the Unity developers out there. Uh, Unity just picked up another tool maker. This time, it is Pro Builder. Now, Pro Builder has made a couple of different plugins available on the Unity Asset Store, and as of today, they are all available for download completely free. And going forward, their functionality is intended to be integrated into Unity itself. Now, Pro Builder is the name of the developer and the name of their primary plugin. Now, I'm going to put this news story down below. It will have links to everything we are about to look at today. But probably the biggest thing is the announcement coming from Unity itself. Uh, they acquired the two developers, uh, Gabriel Williams and Carl Henkel, uh, to the Unity team, and they have incorporated their tools, uh, ProBuilder, uh, PolyPaint, and ProGrid, I believe are the three names, uh, we'll look at them all in a second, um, are now, as I mentioned, completely free. And they go into some detail showing how it works, but you can see here is ProBuilder in action. And basically it is a geometric modeler that works directly inside of Unity. It's great for quickly prototyping levels, um, you can do things like, as you see, you can procedurally create stairs using different uh, values, etc. cetera. Uh, you've got direct control over UB mapping. Um, you basically create very simple shapes. You can extrude them out, etc. cetera. Uh, so it's like a basic model or directly inside of the Unity engine. And again, if you are prototyping, this could turn for some very rapid turnaround. Now, the next tool, the major tool in the list is Polybrush. Now, Polybrush is in beta right now, but essentially what it allows you to do is if you've ever done Unity terrain work or, you know, in, in most game engines or tools, uh, when you work on terrain, you can often do things like um, paint multiple textures onto the surface, do things like, you know, paint grass and dirt and mix the two together, blend them in, create a water layer, etc. Well, this essentially allows you to do the same kind of functionality except directly on meshes, not just on terrains. Um, so you see them in action. They're blending textures, painting vertex colors, sculpting the geometry. So it gives you full 3D sculpting of your models. And you you can even scatter meshes onto surface. It's a lot like the um, the paint tools that are actually built into Maya. This is a version of that that works in Unity. So you can basically, um, your own models that you've got hooked up, you can use this to do sculpting on them or to paint the surface colors, etc. And you can also kind of, cool thing, you can take a Pro Builder model and then texture it using this system and setup. Uh, so that's the polybrush uh, setting. Now I did download all of these. Getting working with the uh, uh, this one, the Pro Builder, I found immediately easy to understand. It, it's the tools are a little kludgy because they're being forced into the Unity interface. And Unity, let's just face it, is starting to get a little old at the seams for a U, from a UI perspective. Uh, but I did struggle with polybrush. I only played with it for about an hour, but. Um, I need to go through the tools, tutorials, etc., and figure this one out a bit more. The first one, it was pretty intuitive. I just got it up and working. And now when you do go ahead and install them, see if I've got Unity open still. I don't, unfortunately. Uh, when you open up Unity, they install, uh, you import them as assets, they create a new folder or a new um, drop down tools menu. Uh, and then there's a Pro Builder one, and then there's a Polybrush one that bring up further details. And then finally, the other tool that's in here, kind of a footnote in their announcement, um, is Polygrid. Now, uh, Polygrid is kind of for um, doing grid snapping, etc., on it. So you can basically bring things in and snap them around on all axis. It makes it easy to lay out things. Or if you're creating, uh, for example, modular terrain or modular units for your game, uh, you know, that so they should all snap together. This is a tool for doing that layout. So again, they're all currently on the asset store. Here you could see uh, Pro Builder, and as you see here, nice price tag of free. Uh, next up, we've got. Polybrush, as I mentioned earlier, it is in beta, uh, but it is also free. And then finally, ProGrid, uh, which as I mentioned is used for laying out and positioning and snapping things in 3D space. And it is also free. And as mentioned, Unity is ultimately intending to uh, bring all of these guys together into Unity and have this functionality in-house. Uh, so once again, that is ProBuilder and ProBuilder is pretty small as is Polybrush, pretty small, and ProGrid, extremely small. So head on over to the Asset Store if you're looking for them, go ahead, click buy or whatever, then you open them up, import them, and you are off to the races. And really, that's it for today. Um, I would go into more detail on them, but I just don't have enough hands-on experience to really showcase or demo or you know really um, do these justice. If you go over to the uh, Unity post, which again, I will link in the Game From Scratch post to all of the Asset Store pages and to this link, um, there is a hands-on video um, showing ProBuilder in action 
collection, as well as there's the demo reel of games that were created using uh, Pro Builder, uh, and some of them you will actually recognize, such as Super Hot. Uh, so, uh, very cool news for game developers, uh, if, especially for specifically for Unity, develop, Unity developers. Uh, so I figured I'd get this one out and share with you as fast as possible. So hopefully some of you guys found that useful or in, intriguing. Um, are you already a user of any of these tools? If so, let me know how they work down below. Um, do you intend to start using them or are you <clears throat> never Unity kind of guy? Uh, it really doesn't matter which one you're from, but just do let me know in the comments down below what you think of this. All right, that's it for now. Hope you found that useful. I will see you all later. Goodbye.